Joe, as everyone in the building has been saying to me today, happy Friday, my friend. Happy Friday, Chris. In Tempe, we're going to jump right into this. There is a fella, his name is Austin Davis, a young guy who has been arrested multiple times. And I know how you feel about criminal activity. Joe, uh, the city of Tempe raising the stakes, according to the Feeding Stew Times, on its ongoing battle with Austin Davis, a man whose efforts to feed and help the unhoused have drawn the ire of city officials. So, uh, Tempe police have arrested Davis over two alleged trespassing violations. Police say those happened July 23rd and 24th in Moore Park. He spent the night in jail before being released on Saturday morning last weekend. So, what's the deal? So, uh, Austin Davis is a, is a guy who's been feeding the homeless in Moore Park. Uh, Papago, Papago Park. Park. How right. dare he? Dropping off water, um, making sure people are fed. He's been doing this since 2020. And in fact, in 2022, was given an award by the city of Tempe, but a new manager came in, a new city manager in Tempe, and decided to change the rules mid-game and, uh, and require a permit. Uh, so he's got a, he's got a registered nonprofit. A number of people help out. They go and they, they serve food to the homeless. Uh, this new manager in the city of Tempe decided, stop helping the homeless. Uh, and the neighbors have complained. They said there's trash and homeless people do drugs. Uh, so evidently it's their first experience with homeless people. Yeah. Uh, so obviously uh, the problem is he's feeding them, and if he would stop feeding them, they would stop having trash and drugs. Yeah, I don't think that's the case. You mentioned a couple days when he was cited. I've got up here a few more, too. He was also cited on the, the 6th or on, on the 10th. He was cited for 6th and the 7th for uh trespassing in the park again he was under a park ramada how dare he we should also note that was those were days that he was picking up trash oh. he was uh, cited for trespassing while picking up trash i would like to see both sides here work together i think tempe has said they spend 70 plus million dollars helping the homeless i think austin says for the last four plus years here he's tried to help the homeless and he was told that he had to hit pause for 60 days to try to get a permit. He tried to comply with all of that, and it seemed like he didn't like the direction that Tempe was going after a week. And then he decided he was just going to keep these uh, picnics going in the park. It seems to me like there should be a compromise for City of Tempe and Austin to find a place where a do-gooder, Austin, could hold his picnics and ideally not leave trash and drugs behind. So just to be clear, here's a guy that's been doing this since 2022. The city of Tempe didn't have a problem with it and, in fact, gave him an award for Neighborhood Event of the Year and then decided to change the rules. Joe says, that's great. They changed the rules. And then they arbitrarily assigned a 60-day waiting period, which he said, there's no reason for that. I will apply for the permit and continue to Help the homeless. How dare he? So the city arrested him and charged him with six violations of the special permit ordinance. Yep. And because he was not uh, abiding by the 60-day cooling off period, uh, they they uh, denied the permit. I should also note, uh, how long is the? do you have to wait to get your permit to buy a firearm? Is that 60 days, Joe? Don't have one. Okay, I don't know. all right. It's, Making sure. Don't have one. Uh, he was charged with six violations up to six months in jail. This May, Tempe dropped all but one charge, hauling him into court for the violation since his last court date. The city has levied uh, eight more charges, bringing his charges to nine. So, again, uh, changing the rules mid game. And as Joe puts it, referees can do no wrong. This is a great idea by the league. Is and that how what I said? dare he break the rules? I don't think I said that part either. I think you said that part. Now, look, explain to me where the problem is, Joe. Here's a guy who's feeding the homeless, yeah. gets an award from the city, somebody else steps into the city and decides they don't like it, so they institute new rules two years after he's already been doing it, and then they tell him that he has to wait, and you're like, well, then he should wait. So you're right on that, that if I was in charge, it wouldn't have been that way. But somebody else did step in in Tempe and say, you have to wait 60 days for serving food and water i agree i don't get it he waited for a week tried to go somewhere else he says city of tempe came at him at that that church event there and that he then on his own decided he wasn't going to wait and to me it's like you've brought up before well should he have had to wait a year should he have had to wait two years no he shouldn't have had to 
but there's legal processes to go about doing this. And when you just go back to the park and try to do it, they're going to make your life miserable. He's going to continue to try to thumb his finger right in their eye, and we're not helping the homeless with any of this. Let me ask you this then. Great. All right. So you say authority is great. Follow whatever the authority says. What I say is authority makes the rules, and if you don't like the rules, there is a process to push back, and Love he's it. not following the process. Perfect. Tell me about the Boston Tea Party. Which side of that are you on? Well, that happened hundreds of years ago. Are you on the side of the people who stood up to authority, or are you on the side of authority that says, how dare those colonists do such a thing? Tell me, Redcoat, which side are you on when it comes to America? Sounds like you're deciding which side I'm on I'm here. I'm asking you. Just tell me. We're talking about a homeless situation in Tempe, not the Boston Tea Party. Ask me about, uh, excuse me, tell me about this. There was a fella a couple thousand years ago who yeah. was not doing what the Romans told him to do. Oh, boy. So he stood up to the Romans and he continued to preach even though the Romans told him to stop. Mm -hmm. Should Jesus have stopped or should he have kept going and flaunted authority at the time? Are you pro-Jesus or anti-Jesus? I'm pro-Jesus. Obviously not. I'm a Catholic Christian. A Austin, Christian Catholic. Austin Davis stood up to authority just like Jesus, just like the founding fathers of America. And might I also add, I think we know which side of the bridge you would have been on in Selma. Hmm. Thanks for watching the Chris and Joe Show. Click to see more from Chris and Joe and tap the button in the middle to subscribe to KTAR News.